Hidden cause number 13, why you still have low thyroid symptoms, even though you may be taking thyroid medication, and even though your lab tests look normal, is low conversion of T4 into T3 caused by a deficiency in cofactors for an enzyme to do that, as well as increased levels of cytokines. So let me tell you what we mean by conversion. 97% of what the thyroid gland makes is T4, which is biologically inactive. It's got to get converted into T3. How does that happen? That happens by the action of this enzyme called 5-deiodinase. 5-deiodinase primarily is going to uh, happen in your liver. And there are certain cofactors that have to be in place for this enzyme to be able to work correctly. And the number one cofactor for it is called selenium. Now, selenium is a mineral you, you may have heard of. Now, what would be the signs that someone has low conversion? Well, it be your classical low thyroid symptoms like depression, hair loss, uh, weight gain, brain fog, dry skin, dry hair, high cholesterol, those sorts of things. Now on lab tests, you may notice that the reverse T3 is low. That's a sign that that's a little indicator of how much conversion is happening. But you might also see free T4 and free T3 levels low. Okay, or you may see total T3 levels low. But you may not see any of those. You may just have the low thyroid symptoms. Now, what would cause you to have a deficiency in selenium? Well, the number one thing you'd have to look at is malabsorption. Why would someone not be able to absorb selenium? First thing you got to look at is if they have something going on in the stomach acid uh, in their gut. Now, not, not, not too much stomach acid, but not enough stomach acid. If you don't have enough stomach acid, you can't demineralize your food. You can't suck the minerals out of it. And therefore, you're not going you know, to bring them into your body. It's not going to be there to be a cofactor to get conversion of T4 into T3. Uh, what would cause that? What would cause there to be a low stomach acid? Well, the first thing you look at is H. pylori. It's a bacterial infection. The best test you can do for that, in my opinion, is a urea breath test. So hopefully the doctor you're working with will know how to do that and would even know how to get rid of it if you've got it. You can also do what's called a stool microbial ecology profile. Why would you do that? Well, malabsorption can also be caused by if you have any inflammation in your GI tract, like in your small intestine, and that can be caused by parasites, yeast, overgrowth of opportunistic bacteria, dysbiosis. If there's a bunch of weeds growing in the garden, okay, that can cause malabsorption. And so you want to have somebody that you're working with that knows how to look for those things. So that's kind of the selenium picture. Now the second half of this picture that causes low conversion of T4 into T3, which produces low thyroid symptoms, is increased levels of cytokines. Cytokines are inflammatory messengers for the immune system that happen when you get inflammation. So if you've got gut inflammation or arthritic inflammation or if you have an autoimmune disease like Hashimoto's or rheumatoid arthritis or multiple sclerosis, you're going to have lots of cytokines. Now these cytokines block conversion of T4 to T3 by slowing down that enzyme, that 5-deiodinase enzyme. So the trick is understanding that you could have, for example, Hashimoto's and have a cytokine blocking the conversion of T4 to T3. You can have two problems at once. You know, there's no rule that says you can only have Hashimoto's. You can have side effects of Hashimoto's. You could have the side effects of rheumatoid arthritis. You could have the side effects of having gluten sensitivity or having a leaky gut because those things are inflammatory. So there's an inflammation kind of uh, scavenger hunt that has to happen to figure out, okay, is that a mechanism for you? So kind of the takeaway is this. If you've got poor conversion of T4 to T3, as evidenced by you having low thyroid symptoms, or as evidenced by the fact that you've got a reverse T3 on your blood chemistry that's low, or you've got you know, low levels of free T3, free T4, those type of things, any or all combination of those things should prick up the ears of your clinician thinking maybe you've got bad conversion. Conversion that is low can be caused by a selenium deficiency, which makes us look at H. pylori and you know, gut malabsorption and parasites, or it can be from cytokines blocking the activity of that enzyme. Where do cytokines occur? In inflammatory conditions. What are inflammatory conditions? Hashimoto's, rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, psoriasis, uh, and all kinds of other food sensitivities, and even those gut infections cause elevations in cytokines. So it's not just a simple little formula we have to use. You gotta put on your, you know, your detective badge and your, uh, your thinking cap and start looking for these things. So if you're still having low thyroid symptoms, this is something that should be considered. So you need to find someone that knows how to look for them and knows what to do if they find them.